people who have stood up for their land against the barbaric practices of coal mining are systematically subjected to persecution and threats from both coal companies and government bodies. Because in Russia, government and business have common interests. And the police, the FSB, corrupt course provide a cover for all this. Between November 2013 and March 2014, the coal company burned down homes in Kazas village because residents refused to sell them to the company. Before this, residents had received threats from the director of the Yuzhnaya Coal Company. When people come out to rallies or demonstrations, they are arrested by the police. Then come trials, fines, jail. They are perverting people's fates. People receive threats that drugs will be planted on them, that they will be jailed under fabricated cases, that dead children will be taken, or even worse, that something will happen with their children. I started to tell you all about this because I myself have personally been subjected to persecution and threats. And I want you to know what is happening today in Russia with people who tell the truth, who go against the government, against big business, against the system. There are many such people, uh, they want to live in a different Russia, a free, honest, open Russia, but they need support. Residents of Kuzbaz, the Hakkasia Republic, where coal is mined, they need support from the world. Many European and Asian countries that buy coal from Siberia don't even know what methods are used to mine it, what the consequences of the kind of mining are, and what is the real price of the coal you use. Coal is the dirtiest pure, coal kills.